Hello, I'm Dr. Harper. This video is a homework video in Excel tutorial in Part C in Linear Programming Operations Management. So let's bring up the problem. Part C is environmental compliance. A company owns three factories on the Washita River that emits four different pollutants. The state has recently mandated a 16 ton reduction for each pollutant in the river. The company is considering the tons of emissions to process from each factory that will reduce the amount of pollutants in the river that meet state requirements for each pollutant. The company has available processes for each factory effective in reducing the pollutants, but the cost and efficiency vary between the factories. The maximum tonnage that can be processed by a factory is 280 tons. So, what is the minimum cost to meet the state requirements? So, uh, let's highlight this. There we go. Control C and let's bring in Excel to solve this thing. Uh, come down here a little bit and Control C. Let's V. Let's uh, put this in. And so uh, let's uh, full screen this and enlarge this so we can see what we're doing. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and. Uh, Ariel, let's uh, take away the, uh, and then let's see if we can uh, format this a little bit. Uh, let's increase this and format this. There we go. Uh, that's better. Okay, and there's the problem. Okay, so first of all, uh, well, we have the maximum down here. Let's go ahead and put this max in. We know that's, uh, let's see, what was it again? Uh, the maximum tonnage that can be processed is 280 tons. So we can't process anything greater than that. Just type that in. Uh, and then over here, uh, we're going to have uh, what is being what is going to be uh, uh, processed. I mean our I mean our reduction. And that's going to equal. Well, first of all, let's back up here, and let's down here. Let's here's going to be our optimal. Uh, mix that we're going to produce uh, that we're going to actually uh, process. Let's box this, box this in, and let's shade this because this is going to be our, our decision variables. That's what we're going to be changing here. Bring this down a little bit. There we go. Okay, now then, uh, now the reduction uh, that's going to equal the sum product of our coefficients right here of. That's the tons of pollutant reduced per ton of emission processed. Down here is what you're processing. So this is comma, what you're processing, and that's going to be F4 to freeze that. And so that is going to be our reduction. So I'll bring this down, pollutant 2, pollutant 3, pollutant 4, and there's our costs. So let's go ahead and box this in and shade that. That's going to be our cost because that's, that's what we want to minimize. We're going to change these to minimize this, but we have our mandate, which is, what is it, 16? 16 tons. 16 tons, and what do we get? Another day older and a deeper in debt. Okay, sorry. Uh, okay, so there we go. So let's solve this thing. I think this is everything there, so let's go to data, and let's go to solver. And we want there. There's our uh, cost. We want to minimize our cost by changing how much we're going to be uh, processing. Now add our constraints. Now our constraints, first of all, is, is our reduction here uh, must be greater than or equal to the mandated reduction, which is 16 tons, uh, and uh, so it has to be more than that. You can reduce it more, but you have to reduce at least 16. Add. Uh, and now our optimal mix here, the maximum is 280, so it's less than or equal to our 280. We can't really go above that. Okay, and so non-negativity constraints. Uh, let's make sure this is a simplex algorithm because it's a linear program. Say solve, and then what happens here is solver found a solution. All constraints and optimality conditions are satisfied. Keep the solution. Okay, I'm going to keep it. Uh, and there's our answer. Uh, one. Uh, $126,400 and sure enough it's $126,400 and so good we did it 
Okay. And so let's go ahead and box this in. So there's that solution right there. Good to go. We did it. Okay, next question. Which pollutant resulted in the greatest reduction at the optimal solution? Well, we have the optimal solution. It's just looking at it. to will see here. Here's our reduction. Let's box this in. So which one's the greatest reduction? Well, right there, pollutant 3 had 17.28 tons. And that turned out to be, it's interesting that uh, with this, uh, how this is the number of to only, only factory B was op was maximized. But of these tons, we're minimizing our cost. But in doing so, pollutant 1 and pollutant 3 will be reduced greater than the mandate to minimize cost. So it uh, seems, seems like, uh, why wouldn't just be 16? Because that would not be minimum cost. Okay, so that's pollutant three, pollutant three. Okay, question three. Suppose the maximum tonnage that can be processed by a factory was relaxed, where there was no limit on tons processed by a factory. So this limit here, uh, that doesn't matter anymore. We say, nah, we'll do. But if only one factory was used, which factory would yield the least cost and meet the requirements, well, of the, of the 16 tons. Okay, well, let's solve this. Let's bring this back. Okay, so down here, uh, let's see what is the max production, or let's say the production, let's say the mandate <laughs> production. Okay, and this is gonna be for, for uh, for pollutant one, two, and three. In other words, that's simply going to be 16, that's the mandate, divided by uh, how much tons, uh, uh, tons reduced per ton, well, per 16 divided by this, that's going to be, that's how many tons uh, that you need to, to produce pollutant one. So we bring this over here, right there, and then bring this down, pollutant one, two, three, and four. So that's how many tons are needed. Let, let's say tons needed uh, for pollutant one. Needed for for pollutant two. For pollutant three. For pollutant four. Okay. And so now the maximum, in order to cover all of them, it'll be the maximum of this. In other words, if I uh, if I only process 400, that's not enough for for uh, pollutant three and four. But the maximum of 1600, that is enough for all all four of them. So copy it over. Okay. Now the cost for just for each one simply will be the cost per ton times how many tons. Uh, you have to process. Copy that over, and the maximum here, or the the uh, minimum cost. And by the way, if you have a lot of these, you just say if statement if this is less than the minimum of all of these, then say yes. Just say. Uh, minimum otherwise blank uh, but then again this right here this right here f4 to fix that because it's always going to be the same minimum you copy it over and it'll say and so why didn't it come up Oh, <laughs> I it didn't come up. Okay, sorry that I didn't do this uh, the right the first time. I say less than no. If it's equal to the minimum, then say it's a minimum. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Uh, made a mistake. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a minimum. 
and so let's put uh, there you go okay so B here B is going to be the answer and sure enough B is the minimum okay so there's there's uh, all I have for part C I hope this helps between now and the next time I see you take care